Welcome back. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Leanne. I'm a registered and licensed dietitian, and I have a degree in culinary arts. And I'm happy to partner with CDR Naturals to provide to you a cooking demonstration today. Our goal is to provide value. We want you to learn and we want to empower you to cook at home. Today we're going to be featuring spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is available year round, but it's in season in the fall and winter months. Spaghetti squash is also in the same family as pumpkins, gourds, and zucchini. Squash is high in fiber. Fiber helps with digestive health, it helps with weight management, and it also promotes healthy blood sugar levels. The fiber in the squash slows down the digestion rate of the carbohydrate. One cup of spaghetti squash is only about 10 grams of carb. Spaghetti squash is also very nutrient dense. It's filled with vitamins, it's filled with antioxidants, it helps prevent chronic diseases and inflammation in the body. It's also gluten free, so it can be used as a substitute for regular pasta if you feel you have a gluten sensitivity or if you have celiac disease. All right, now that we've reviewed some of the health benefits, let's go over how to prepare the spaghetti squash. There are a few different ways that it can be prepared. My favorite way is to roast it in the oven because roasting will caramelize the spaghetti squash and it'll bring out the sweetness. Some recipes will tell you that you need to add a little bit of oil and salt and pepper. I personally don't feel that that's needed. I just cut the squash and I roast it and I feel like it turns out fine and I'm not adding any additional calories this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the squash from the stem end to the bud end lengthwise. This skin is very tough, um, so it's really important that you have a stable workspace. So one thing that I would encourage you to do is take a few paper towels or a thin kitchen towel and wet them and then put them underneath your cutting board because that way it prevents your cutting board from slipping. The other thing is, is you want to make sure you have a sharp knife. We said before, you know, a sharp knife is a safe knife. If you've got a knife that has a dull blade, um, you're going to be more likely to slip and cut yourself. Now I'm going to show you how to cut the squash. Cut the ends off. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. I cut both ends off so I can stand it up and then cut through the center lengthwise. So when you cut it in half, there's gonna be seeds in the center of the squash. Those seeds are edible. For the purpose of roasting, we're gonna scrape them out of the squash. If you wanna save the seeds, all you need to do is rinse them off, toss them in a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and then you can roast them in the oven. They're a great way to add crunch to salads. So I just have a container here with a spoon and I'm just scraping the inside of the seeds out. And then after you scrape the seeds out and set them aside, I'm going to take the squash and I'm going to put them cut side down on a baking sheet. I have an oven that's preheated at 400 degrees and I bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. You can cook other squash the same way. Right now, um, butternut and acorn squash are also in season. So you could just cut them up. You could, um, if you'd like to, toss them in a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil and then put your favorite herbs or spices on them and then roast them in the oven the same way that we've done today. Okay. our Spaghetti squash has roasted for 25 to 30 minutes in the oven. I let them cool for a little bit because they are hot. But basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take the spaghetti squash and take a fork and you're going to scrape the inside. You can see that it, it comes out really easily and it actually resembles spaghetti or like an angel hair. So what I really like about this is that it takes on the flavor other accompaniments like tomato sauce or pesto, um, garlic, onions, fresh herbs. You can use this in a stir fry side dish. And I mean, you can also use it as a substitute for just a regular pasta. We do that all the time at our house. So I'm actually gonna make a, a tomato sauce with basil and, and do it later today. Since I've cooked this 
I think it'll it'll go well with that. So, all right. So that's how you prepare spaghetti squash. It's relatively easy to do, as you can see. We hope that this video inspired you to try something new in the kitchen. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.